Confession time. I play Roblox. Like, a lot. You see, way back in 2012, when I was in middle school, we had our own school laptops to use for homework and tests and stuff. However, the students did not use the laptops for that at all. No, the big thing in my school was the shady art of video game piracy and trading those said video games from person to person through flash drive. Everyone in the school had stuff like Minecraft, but if you were privy to this kind of stuff and knew where to look, you could find all kinds of games. I knew dudes with Modern Warfare 3, Skyrim, San Andreas, hell, even I had the original Half-Life games, and Doom on my computer. So after a while playing Minecraft one day at lunch, I noticed some kids playing this odd game. It looked kind of like Minecraft, but it had guns and vehicles and more. I asked what game this was, and the kid playing, without even looking at me, uttered the cursed word. Roblox. Since then, my life has never been the same. I have poured countless hours into Roblox over the years, playing so many different games, meeting a ton of cool and interesting people, and using it as a way to play with close friends when we aren't hanging out in real life. Roblox is a massive space, and the best part is that it's free to play and most of the games do not require any sort of membership to play, with all of them being user-created and run. Well, like any other user-created MMO, there is home to urban legend and conspiracy. I've kind of been keeping an eye on some of these myths, even investigating a couple of old urban legends on my first YouTube channel all the way back in 2014. So after finding out that there's a whole dedicated iceberg, I have decided to return to the land of Roblox urban legends. Join me tonight as we discuss the Roblox iceberg and more urban legends, and see just how deep the iceberg goes. From what I could find, 1x1x1x1 was a test account created by Shedletsky, a former creative director at Roblox from 2006 to 2014. 1x had had many rumors surface about it, including that the account was an exploiter account or the leader of an exploiting group on Roblox. Despite these rumors being debunked and the account being terminated, many players still hold on to the belief that this account once belonged to a hacker akin to the John and Jane Doe accounts. The account had remained inactive for most of its existence, however, it is speculated that it had become active at one point after the devs had released updates to the avatar customization, causing many to be in fear that 1x would come back and hack players. Despite the ongoing rumors, former admin, Mr. Doombringer, had verified that 1x was not a hacker and rather just a backstory Shedletsky had created. Mr. Doombringer stated in a forum post that, I posted this in a thread that subsequently died. I'm posting it here so you can refer back to it later. Keep the link to this forum, distribute it, tell people the truth. Let's talk about where the name comes from. Long ago, Telemon posted a number of stories about Roblox's backstory to the news. One of these included the mention of 2x2, the first brick, copied over and over, every other brick were its descendants. Then, in a footnote, he mentions the evil one by one by one by one by one. So that's where the name comes from. Blame John. Let's talk about why people say he's a hacker. A guy whose name is long forgotten, not Zuka, found an exploit, not cheat engine, to insert scripts into online places. He sent me a message telling me he had something to demonstrate. I joined him in Crossroads and it started raining heads saying things along the lines of he's coming back and one by one by one by one is coming for you and the likes. People in the server freaked out. I found it hilarious. He gave me instructions on how it works and I reported it to the devs. End of story. Other people, like Dignity, found would find other ways to insert scripts, the, and people would assume that they had something to do with it. The hacker group, one by one by one. Truth is, it was one guy playing off of a Roblox lore thing. The myth had become very popular and even got its own Roblox toy as a part of the first series of mystery figures. 
though its appearance has drastically changed, featuring an all-black body, skeletal pattern on the torso, and a green domino crown which does not exist in the actual Roblox catalog. Additional console that the Roblox devs had announced as a part of their ongoing April Fool's jokes. The pitch claims that it runs on RBX Imagination for both its CPU and GPU, with features that include Bluetooth technology, Roblox creation tools, and even a feature where if you tilt the console exactly 15 degrees, you will fire up the CPU. These are pretty similar, so I will include them in the same segment. Fake login prompt scams are just scams that are used to collect users' passwords. Scam bots are more or less the same, sending you DMs, friend requests, or commenting on your account slash games, providing links to scam sites. Just don't click on anything you don't know, and you should be fine. John and Jane Doe are test accounts created by Roblox's founders David Bezucki and Eric Castle in 2005. These accounts are home to classic rumors and mysteries. One mystery claims that despite neither of the accounts logging in since 2006, now 2015, and 2016 at the time of writing, both accounts had possessed user badges that were created in 2012. This was later found out to be a bug in the Roblox client where users could earn badges without even playing. Another rather infamous claim was that several players speculated that both accounts would hack Roblox on March 18th, 2017. These claims had allegedly caused mass panic amongst the Roblox community, but was later debunked by the devs in a blog post. This is a name that I had personally heard about since I started playing Roblox. Jared Valdez has been hailed as one of the most infamous users in Roblox history. Jared had created a controversial reputation for himself due to popularizing the act of game plagiarism and copied places. It is said that he used exploits to gain access to these games for personal use, even uploading a tutorial on how to steal Roblox places that has since been deleted. It is stated that he had stole games such as Paintball, Contamination, and The Iron Cafe, and even more, even renaming them to try and pass them off as his own. Aside from copying places, Jared had also supposedly copied groups as well, including after attempting to buy the ownership of the group Vortex Security for an alleged 2 to 3 million tickets, Jared had copied the group, renamed it Team Vortex, and copied the Vortex Security logo. Jared's copy had gained over 5,000 members before being sold off to another user. Jared's accounts had been terminated several times over the years. His first, Jared Valdez 2, had been terminated after he had purchased a lifetime OBC membership with his mother's credit card. Card. The next, Jared Valdez 4, had been terminated after it was found out that he was selling limited items for real life currency. Jared has claimed he owned many more backup accounts, but that they have all been terminated. Unlike many other classic Roblox accounts, Jared is still active on the internet, still having a somewhat active Twitter and YouTube channel where he discusses real life topics as well as Roblox videos every now and again. Jared will still to this day be remembered as one of the most infamous and controversial users in Roblox history. The last for stage one is ticket removal, which was just a form of currency in the old days of Roblox before they were removed in order for Roblox to monetize their platform better. This is just an announcement video in regards to the inclusion of shirts and pants in Roblox. The song in the background is made by Stealth Pilot for Shidletsky. Shirts and shirts, shirts and shirts. Roblox and shirts. Roblox shirts, shirts, shirts. Roblox, Roblox brings you pants, pants, pants and pants. Roblox brings you pants. Roblox brings you pants and pants and pants and pants. And shirts. And shirts. And shirts. And shirts. And pants. And shirts. And pants. Shirts. And shirts. And pants. And pants. And shirts. Shirts. Pants. 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 Shirts. Pants. 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 I don't know what this refers to, probably an inside joke regarding Roblox admin Bob Pieron, or Noble Dragon. 
Super Fools incident is a hacking incident that occurred on April 1st, 2012. This event caused a compromise in the Roblox website, causing it to go down for a period of time. This event was believed to have started when user Ellernate had gotten into the Roblox admin panel by creating an account on Site Test 3 under a Roblox admin's username. This allowed them to gain access to the .roblo security cookie, the use of a warning banner, as well as unauthorized user promotions. Ellernate and other users had used this compromise to drastically change the Roblox economy for a time, dropping the prices of hats to one Robux and even changing their names. The perpetrator had also released new items onto the site's catalog, including a new face for 100 Robux. Several accounts were either compromised or affected, leading to terminations and bans across the site, as well as drastically changing the economy and selling price of some of Roblox's rarest items. Games that if you use shift lock, you can go out of bounds and possibly see unused models that were not used in the full map. Horror music refers to a sound file for some spooky music found in the game's files. Nothing too special about it, as it was created by Roblox devs themselves. The Cursed House could possibly refer to a certain game on Roblox, however, it is not entirely known for sure if this is the correct one. Sometime in 2016, a not safe for work game had reached the front page of Roblox featuring a thumbnail of a vagina. The game stayed on the front page for a short period of time before being taken down. Alleged lawsuit that was about to take place because of how the Roblox circle studs looked like Legos. However, this was confirmed fake by Twitter user Roblox Secrets. Unknown. Just some games that have been left behind due to the sheer number of created games on Roblox as well as Roblox updates causing older games to break and become unplayable. Flesgerta was known as one of the most famous users during Roblox early years, as well as being a pretty popular Roblox YouTuber only for it to come to an abrupt end when their account was terminated. This topic refers to the reason for Flesgerta's termination as on October 4th, 2008, an unknown user had reported two models that Flesk had created featuring cylinder breasts. Rumors state that user Hiraton2008 was the one to report the models, as as his profile blurb states, Also, don't bother sending me a PM about Flesh Jerta. It was over three years ago. Get over it. And if you have something to say to me, say it to my face. Otherwise, I do not care. Lost versions of Roblox. This one is actually pretty strange in a cool way. Despite having gone viral as a meme because of Roblox, the sound effect actually comes from an obscure shooter game from 2000 named Messiah, where you play as a baby angel sent by God to clean up sin and corruption of Earth. <laughs> Roblox recreations of popular K-pop groups. Creator of a Roblox revival site called Graphictoria. Apparently he's a piece of shit that doxes people and has done some generally controversial things. Early name that was considered for Roblox. Controversial user who stole models and plagiarized one dev 2's welcome to the town of Robloxia. No confirmed existence of a hat like this ever existing on the Roblox catalog. Roblox hacker that used exploits to play a song with the repeated phrase Wonga 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 playing loudly. Famous user who has a custom hat named after him created the Thrillville Park game and the Roblox Gone Crazy video series. Found nothing regarding his account being hacked. Odd happenings in Roblox around 2009, players had made videos claiming to see invisible player models, random effects triggering, and objects moving on their own, could possibly be due to older, unstable builds of the client. It is alleged that Roblox founder David Basucki had thought up the idea for Roblox in the 80s and even had a prototype for the primitive version of Roblox. However, this has never been confirmed. Unknown origin, it is said that you shouldn't type this in while using the 2015 client of Roblox. Legend states that it is the rarest client of Roblox to ever be on the internet. Only a few screenshots are said to have surfaced. Many have tried to recreate this client and pass it off as the real one. 
An alleged video of a camel having its neck cut open that had been queued up in the plug.dj rooms in the official Roblox forums. It is unknown who had been queuing up the video, but they had apparently gotten banned. A video does unfortunately exist, still on YouTube with a similar name, but it was confirmed not to be the same video. An alleged account that would make creepy and eerie posts to the Roblox forums a lot. Users on the forums had shrugged off the odd post until the user had been supposedly getting into other players' accounts. It's probably the darkest on the iceberg because it really happened. Mr. Obvious was a pretty well-known Roblox user who was known for uploading comedy skits onto his YouTube channel. However, on June 18th, 2017, YouTuber and Roblox user Ruben Sim had brought to light that Mr. Obvious had been displaying predatory behavior towards a 15-year-old girl on his Discord server. He would sexually solicit underage female fans by asking for sexually explicit pics and sending the victims videos of him pleasuring himself. After the Ruben Sim video went live, a large majority of Mr. Obvious's fan base had rightfully left and Mr. Obvious went offline. It is not known what has happened to him since or if there were charges slash an investigation brought on by these allegations. Apparently, Mr. Obvious had sent audio files to the girls and these have not surfaced to this day and it is unknown what they contained and even if they still exist. And there you have it, the entire Roblox iceberg explained to the best of my knowledge. I know there are a lot more myths and legends out there, so if you want to leave some suggestions in the comments below, I am totally down to make a follow up. That being said, I hope you have a good time in general, wherever you are watching this. This is Yoshimi, and I will see you next time.